<laughs> hey lads, it's Patriot, and today I am back playing Five Nights at Candy's Remastered. And uh, we're going into a custom night. We're going in for 720 mo. Oh god, please help me. We also reached 230 subscribers this week. Uh, actually, yesterday. Last night, at the time of this recording. So, uh... Thank you! Thank you very much! I was very, very shocked when it happened. And I was like, huh? Me? You're talking about me, right? Patriot Warrior, right? Talking about me. Yep. Okay. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Oh, God. There's, there's the plushie. Hello, plushie. And burger! Hello, burger! Also, where's the, where's the camera guy? Uh-oh, you're already sticking your head out. Oh, rat! Rat, rat! Rat race, rat race. All right, all right, all right. Nothing, nothing. Heck. Nope. Oh, 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 Why? You were too fast! <laughs> that, that was like five seconds. That was less than a minute. Oh my god. Oh, it was too bad. I am, ladies and gentlemen, 4 a.m. is how far I can make it. Can you take your order? Yep, I'm dead. Up. Oh. And five? I don't know. Oh. Can you take your order? Come on, please, please, come on, come on, come on! I played so well. Come on, please. John C. No, I'm dead. God, I couldn't do it in time. No! God, I can't get out of the stupid screen! Come on, let me live! I don't have this much time, but still let me live, let me live! Oh, why can you kill me so fast? Alright, lads, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, uh, unedited, uh, cut of the full gameplay right here, because this is my final attempt. This is the attempt that I actually went on, so, you know. I thought I'd kind of uh, use this as an opportunity to kind of explain what my strategy has been uh, for this entire adventure, which, by the way, I completely made up on my own. I didn't watch any videos, like I said I would. Uh, I made this all up over the course of this video. So there's parts that I didn't show, but the gist of it is, uh, as you can see, I flip the camera a lot and really fast. Uh, that is so that one, it reduces uh, the amount of power that I use, Give it a second. and then uh, two, it uh, just gives me that quick little look that I need and allows me to move a lot faster, so that I don't have to worry about turning and stuff like that, because turning in this game isn't the fastest. I have to do like two full swipes to do it, because it's not that sensitive, and you have to turn so far to reach the doors, so you have to be really careful. Now another thing you've probably noticed is that I keep it on cam 6. That is because that side is the most dangerous camera. Uh, because two of the guys that's eyes don't light up in the dark is Old Candy and the Rat Boy. And they both show up on Cam 6. While on the right side, only Rat Boy shows up in not that often. He only shows up a little bit. So, the gist of it is, is always have it on that side. <clears throat> But when you don't know where Rat Boy is, and you haven't seen him in a while, and you haven't seen a, a guy on the right side for a while, check the Cam 4 on the opposite door. You want to check there to see if Rat Boy's there, because you can't see him. Even if he had glowing eyes, you wouldn't be able to see him, because he hides down the hall uh, on the camera. You might see him at some point during this. <clears throat> Another thing you'll see me do is sometimes I'm in the camera for a little bit longer. And that is because I'm clicking to cam 11 to kind of get an idea of what uh, Blank is doing. I generally figured out, like, there, you just saw Rat Boy, but uh, uh, I've generally figured out, like, his timing. 
like it's it's like ingrained in my instincts of like going oh he should be coming any moment he should be coming soon so it's not really like i time it or anything because it's not a specific amount of time or anything like that but uh <coughs> that's that's another good thing is that every once in a while i don't know when it just feels right you'll start figuring it out uh go and check on blank to make sure he's still there see if he's standing uh, because once he starts moving, he progresses really fast between his phases. So you really need to keep an eye on him. And, <laughs> holy crap, it's a lot. Like, as you can see, I'm already at 55%. I'm, I'm at 2. I'm, like, you want to be at, like, 50% by 3. And it's pretty close. Like, it is very hard to do well because you're so overwhelmed. Uh, like, I'm not showing it. Obviously, you can tell because I'm doing a voiceover here. I am not talking in the background at all. Like, except for every once in a while, I make, like, I make little notes to myself, say something out loud to remind myself of, like, what's going on, where somebody is. As you see, it's 3. It's 3 a.m. right now, 46% or so, which is pretty okay. Because, remember, you, you have a little bit before you die at the end, but it's not as long as, like, Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I'm sorry, I'm kind of talking your guys' ears off. I'm trying to give you guys all this information that you need because it's important. There's a lot going on with uh, uh, this strategy. So, at first, I was actually going to use uh, uh, text. I was going to use text, and it just wasn't working because there's so much that I have to do. Plus, I figured it'd be more interesting if you could hear me while I talk, uh, while I play. But uh, I kind of wish I did a face cam sometimes. I don't want to do it right now because I don't feel comfortable with it. And plus, I don't really have a good... I have an idea of a way to do it that I could do it probably pretty easily and it would look okay. But I think I'm going to wait on the face cam part until I start getting more up there and I'm more assured of that this is going to work out for me, you know, as a YouTuber. So maybe like... I don't know yet. I, I'm not going to set it in stone. I don't want to say something super high, like 100k, because that's like the most likely. It's like, once you get there, you're kind of like, oh, I'm, I've really started. But I don't want to say something so low as like 1,000. But, you know, if you keep hitting that subscribe button, uh, the sooner you'll probably see my face, because at some point I'll, I might end up doing it. I'll probably be a cartoons person, though. So, if you've watched cartoons, which I'd say you probably know who he is at least, he, most of his gameplay doesn't use face cam, except for like some of it. So this right here, this would be perfect for face cam uh, for him probably. Now, <clears throat> of course, I've been talking your guys' ears off, and as you can see, the power is already at 20%, 21%, and it's only 4 a.m. Like it gets down to the wire. Like I've made it to 5 a.m. several times. In reaching zero percent, and I think I was so close on the last run before this one, uh, and I think I was really close, really close to it. But it, there's just no, there's just no time, because I think that when you're on 720 mode, he comes after you faster. Because I remember that in an earlier night, in the seventh night, it took him a lot longer to get to me. I was sitting there forever, waiting for Candy to come kill me when the power ran out. But in this mode, it uh, he doesn't really come that fast. Now, another thing you probably noticed by now that I just thought of again myself, because I noticed it, is that every time I see somebody gone, I flip up the door. Like, I go to one side and flip up the door after a while, every time, and if I see something, I flip it back down. Or if I know something's there, I flip it back down. Because it's a way to save power. Because if you just, like, go, oh, I'm going to leave the door down, it will eventually keep rising up in power uh, amount that it takes. It keeps drawing more and more power, as you can see from the bars. So when you do that and you reset it, it resets it to zero, obviously, and it's not draining as much power. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my victory, because I was sure happy. Yes, I did! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did it. Let's go. I got fired. Yes.
Mary Schmidt, notice of termination, employee number seven. Effective date right now. Tampering with animatronic equipment and potentially damaging the facility and slash or animatronic equipment. Too much perfume. I am really disappointed in you. <laughs> I lived. I finally did it. Yes. Is there going to be anything else? Nope, that's it. Three stars. Yes. But, uh, yeah, that looks like that's it for Five Nights at Candy's Remastered. There's no more for me to do. I've done everything. I actually fully beat a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I am so <laughs> surprised. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Yes. Anyways, uh, let me know down in the comments below what you want me to play next. At the moment, I think I'm going to jump to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I've already done one almost all the way through. I think I even beat the sixth night on one. I didn't ever play the seventh night. But two, I didn't even make it to the fifth night. But I know what happens in it because I've done it before, so it wasn't that interesting for me. But I have not ever played three. I don't think I've ever played three. And if I have played three, I haven't even beat like the second night of three. So it's gonna be interesting. It's I know it's really hard. Nowhere near as hard as like Five Nights at Freddy's 2 720 mode, but still, it's pretty hard. Anyways. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like, maybe subscribe and help us get up to that 250 that we're going for before uh, halfway through October, because that's where it's judging us. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.